Hi everybody, this is Kendall. We are diving into some blue inks today, and I've got a bunch that I want to try. Uh, part of what uh, drives this is uh, my folks actually were at an antique store. They found this Parker Penman Sapphire, and it was marked down because they were just getting rid of stuff. So this is a really rare ink from the 90s. Actually, I think uh, 90s to 2000s when they stopped making it. Uh, so it's hard to find. It's uh, And when you do find it, it's usually quite expensive. Um, I have a whole video on this and you know some of the reasons that maybe they stopped making it. Um, all of that. But what I'm doing today is looking at some other blues. I've found that I just, I want to find like my favorite. And I know that that's subjective and it changes over time, but I don't know. I, I really like this ink and I have a few others that I want to try too. So we will compare these. Um, most of these will be using this glass dip pen. Um, I made a video on this and I do quite like it. I've got one, well, two, maybe two issues and one I like how it looks, but if I want to use this with sample vials, you're going to get this part inked. And over time, that's going to stain, and it just won't look as cool when you have this you know, sealed up. You'll see the this bluish green or red, whatever the ink stains are. Uh, the other thing is just that there's, no, I don't, there's nothing I have to keep it from rolling. Uh, it's not so much an issue with the... The glass pen it's just that I don't have a roll stop or something so I will be stumbling through my way on that I've got some uh, Rhodia paper uh, there's a few inks that I want to just throw in here for fun that I don't have in vials or bottles uh, and I just made a video recently on these two pens the varsity versus the preppy if you haven't seen that video, check it out. I basically compare them, kind of let them duke it out, see who's the winner. So let's start with the Varsity. Before we start dipping the glass nib. And I don't know what blue ink this has, but it's... Um, it's, it's quite nice. I like it. Let's see if we can do a little more of a... I had the cap off for a while, so let's dry it out just a little bit. Okay, so... I don't know. Let's, let's start with that. Okay, we've got the Platinum Preppy. Okay, so the rest of these will be using the same dip pen. These won't, but just want to compare. So let's start with the famous Parker Penman Sapphire. Okay, and I will try to get a consistent amount, but that's going to be difficult. The glass pen, it's got a good amount of feedback to it. It's, it's quite a nice pen. Okay, then let's do some diamine, Sargasso C. This is definitely a favorite of mine. It's got some good kind of a red sheen to it. Yeah. It's 
hard to see. I don't know that the Rhodia paper shows off the sheen quite as much. Okay, up next is Private Reserve's DC Super Show Blue. Oops. Yeah, and as I go through these, if I miss a blue that you think should have been compared, um, let me know. I mean, it's it's subjective, but uh, a lot of these I'm basing off of recommendations. So, okay, up next is Diamine Blue Velvet. There's definitely a more of a sweet spot to these glass pens I've found. Sometimes you you get a good side to it, and then you have to rotate it to kind of keep the ink going. I mean, these are all nice. Okay, Monteverde Blue Skies. Get it here. Okay, next is Bay State Blue. Yeah, I'm going to be very careful. But this is the very famous Blue of Blues. Try not to touch the edge of my pen on that, but I've already gotten some, some kind of staining from today, which I'm not sure will come out. Part of the character, right? Steelers. Bay State. I made a video recently, not, not too long ago. I was like, I'm not sure I ever want to try Bay State. I'm just afraid of it. I'm not sure it's worth trying. And uh, someone commented, well, Get a Platinum Preppy, $6. You can try uh, Bay State Blue. If it, you know, stains the pen permanently, you're you're out $6. So, I mean, it's, it's a good point. So, what did I do? I bought a Blue Platinum Preppy. When I run out of the cartridge, that's what I'm going to do. I'll see if it lives up to the, the hype. But so far, I mean, it definitely pops off the page. It looks great. So, after using this on the dip pen, see if you can see, there's, I've cleaned this pretty well, but there's still a little bit of blue on there. Uh, it's good enough, it's not going to contaminate another ink, but it's, it's just funny that it's kind of stained. Um, you know, and then I, I look at the, uh, you know, the tube here, and there's, it just coats that, that tube. Makes me wonder if... You know, at a place like Goulet, if they've got a, a guy just all he does is Bay State because he's he's covered in that ink. Um, that might be a good question to ask Brian and Drew for the pen cast. Okay, so up next is Robert Oster's uh, Blue Water Ice. Sorry, I keep forgetting where my camera is. So this is this is a an ink that it's a it's lighter, but so I don't know that it's a comparison as much, but it's definitely one I wanted to try. And so I thought it might be nice to see what it looks like uh, with these other blue inks. This is the blue water ice. Oh, 
think I need to stay within these boundaries. I'm just going to come out here a little bit. Yeah, I like that. That's a beautiful ink. Uh, another ink that's also lighter, this is a Diamine Turquoise. Um, I suppose if I had some Konpeki, that would be good to, to try as well. I really like Konpeki, but I don't have any right now. So um, I was really going more for the darker blues, trying to find my sweet spot, you know, quote unquote grail darker blue, but I, um, I don't know. I, I like these light ones too. And maybe they're different enough that you know, the grail, the grailness doesn't overlap the same way. I mean, you've got more of a, a turquoise light blue I mean, that's lovely. I, I like both of these. I think I like the turquoise a little more, but it's uh, definitely bright. So cool. Okay, I've got two more. This one I do have a bottle, and it's a bit more on the greenish side. This is Aurora Borealis. So it's a little more green, but you know, we're having fun. It's kind of Nice to see these compared anyway, so. And it will make sense when you see the next one. Because without this, I, I, I want to compare this one and the next one together just to see. Didn't get a very good swatch on that. Anyway, good enough. All right, last but not least, this is Emerald of Shavor. I've never tried this before. How can I call myself a fountain pen fan if I've never tried Emerald of Shavor, right? So I'm going to give this a good shake. There is a little bit of shimmer in this. I actually got scared off from shimmer inks a while ago just because... I had a pen that I, I put it in and kind of clogged and I got just really frustrated. Um, I just need to try it again and I have a little more information going into it. So. I wanted to be able to compare this one and the Aurora Borealis just because I was curious how close they were. All right, let's 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 get some close up here. So hopefully you can see a little bit of shimmer to that. Some good, uh, some good colors. Okay, I uh, thought I'd let this dry and then I show you a little up close. So this is on the Rhodia paper. And then I also wrote these out and swatched in my uh, William Hanna paper that I keep these. I try to do these by color family so that I can compare them as long as you don't have blue on each side of a page, then I think you'll be okay. Um, but yeah, look how close on this William Hanna paper, it really shows off this sheen. So we've got the Parker Penman Sapphire sheen. All of these have that red sheen. Um, Base State doesn't have much. It has a little tinge of red, but not really a sheen. Uh, and Diamond Blue Velvet uh, doesn't have as much which I thought it would. 
So these are all very similar, and I, I've heard that some of these were created to kind of mimic Parker Penman Sapphire. Um, but yeah, they're they're right up there. If I if I had to choose one of these, um, it would be a close tie. I mean, they're all they're all really nice. Um, but yeah, Bay State does have a distinctive pop to it, doesn't doesn't it? It's uh, it's just a little bit different. But is it worth the extra hassle of not being able to clean it out of things? That's a good question. Um, so another contender is the Sargasso Sea. It also has some of that sheen, that red sheen, uh, and it's a beautiful ink. Uh, here's the Conpecky, and it's kind of nice to see Conpecky kind of right next to these. Um, yeah, I, I really think this Robert Oster Blue Water Ice might be a new favorite of mine. That's That might be the grail blue because it's it's dark enough that it fits in with this family but it's light enough that it, it kind of gives me the vibes of Conpecky uh, and this turquoise is really beautiful too I really like that um, this this one here is just kind of uh, it's a sheen I'm sorry a shimmer ink that I just had a lot of problem with so we're not going to talk about that right now um, and then here's the uh, Emerald of Chavour. It's got that red sheen. It's similar to the Aurora Borealis. It's just got, it's a little more blue instead of green. And it's got the, the shimmer. And I feel like it's, it's red sheen is also just more intense. And then for kicks, I threw these down at the bottom uh, just because. Uh, so I, I have these. Um... All right, so I think that's everything. Uh, I did want to show this off at the end. I, I mean, my hands are inky, of course. Um, badge of honor, right? But but yeah, you can really tell the more you use this dip pen, which part's the cap and which part's the barrel. Um, so it doesn't have that cool bamboo look as much. It's You know exactly where that is. So maybe the solution is getting ink all over the cap. I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, that's everything for this. I uh, hope you guys had fun. Um, it's just, it's fun to hunt after that perfect ink. So tell me what your go-to blue is. What's your favorite blue? Um, and the, the whole concept of grail inks. And hit the like button if you would. That really helps. And we will talk to you later on. See ya.